Daily Lens Blog for the 29th of September, 2020. Oi, Case. The pandemic? Not going away. She's coming back. Yeah, she's coming back. We're looking at uh, a second wave for sure. Not that it went away, but here, here's my concern, that we know that the first wave really took its toll on people's mental health and physical health, obviously, but that goes without saying it's a physical health pandemic. But the secondary thing is what, what I'm worried about and obviously sick, not weak, what it is, uh, you know, we focus our attention on. So we go through this pandemic, uh, the first wave, and we know that anxiety, not surprisingly, has increased. We know that depression, not surprisingly, has increased. I don't think anyone knew how bad it would be because none of us have been through a worldwide pandemic that affects everyone. I mean, we've had epidemics before and we've had pandemics before, but nothing that hit Canadians, for instance, the way it hit us, where virtually everybody was affected by it um, because everyone was touched by the job loss. People you know, were forced to stay home and it really, uh, it really damaged a lot of people's psyches. And then add to what I just described, an increase in suicidal thoughts and suicides. And you find that uh, now we get a second chance at this, meaning we're probably going to have to go through the same precautions we went through last time. I mean, I, I hate to say it, but like what other chance are we going to have? Uh, and we can talk about it, though. We can talk about uh, how do we address this? How, how do we try to learn from what we did before, uh, which was obviously very little because we didn't know that we would be having this mental health struggle, and, and apply it to now. Second wave is coming. Here comes the wave. The first time the wave hit us, it buried us and we floated, uh, you know, uh, 100 meters offshore. Okay, well, we just swam back to shore and we're out of the water and we're back on the shore again and holy shit, here comes another wave. What am I gonna do? Am I gonna stand on the shore and let it hit me and suck me out to, um, into the distance? Or am I gonna try to take some kind of precaution knowing that it's coming? I don't know what that precaution is, but I'd like to know your thoughts on this. You know, how do we, how do we make up a binder? I haven't had a binder in a long time of information that is kind of, okay, we know that this kind of pain is coming. And here are some of the things that we've learned from the first time that can make a difference the second time. Any ideas, Case? Mm. I'm putting you on the spot yeah. there. I Why didn't. You make me look bad. No, I don't have any Are ideas you right now. Let's uh, set old Casey up for failure. Yeah, you know, it, it brought me a little joy, sure. You know, because everybody knows that you're over, you know, you know, you're sort of behind the camera thinking, oh, I know everything. You know, I, you know, I, I listen to every word that Michael says unless I'm nodding off sleeping because I'm bored of what he's saying. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm very proud of myself. Signalweek.com, 24 hours a day, uh, 300 and what did we say, 60? Yeah. yeah, 360 days a year. Think about it. We are here because we talk about stuff like this. Here comes the second wave. Oh, no, it's coming. What am I going to do about it?